Hello and welcome to Children's Liturgy. I'm Claire and I work with the Shrewsbury Youth Mission Team in the parish of St. Maximin Le Colby in Runcorn and St. Philip Neuray in Birkenhead. And it's great to be with you on this fifth Sunday of Lent. So, as always, we'll begin by making the sign of the cross and lighting our candle. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And we'll light our candle to remind us that Jesus is with us as the light of the world. And Jesus being the light of the world was our activity last week. Did you hang your lantern somewhere so you remember to be that light for others? That's great. So today we hear Jesus comparing himself to something. He says what he is going to do is like something. So listen carefully to Haley reading to find out what that is. And don't forget to have your thumbs ready as we greet the gospel, as we think about the word of God, we speak the word of God, and we love the word of God. A reading from the gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Some Greeks who had come to Jerusalem to celebrate the approaching Passover feast came to Philip and asked to meet Jesus. Philip told this to Andrew, and the two disciples went to tell Jesus. Jesus said to them, The time has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Just as a grain of wheat must die to produce a harvest of many grains, so the Son of God must die so that many can live. Whoever hates his earthly life will keep it for eternal life. If someone wants to serve me, then they must be prepared to follow me. If they do this, then my heavenly Father will glorify them. Jesus was troubled because he knew the time for him to die was fast approaching. Should I ask my Father to stop this from happening, when it was for this very reason that I have come? Far, Father, glory be to your name. Then spoke a voice from the clouds and said, My name has been glorified and will be again. The crowd heard the voice, but thought it was the sound of thunder. So Jesus said, This voice has spoken for your sake. Now it is judgment time for this world. The prince of this world will be overthrown. And when I am raised up, I will gather everyone to myself. In this way, Jesus revealed how he would die. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So what did Jesus compare himself to in the Gospel? That's right, he compared himself to like a grain of wheat. That might seem strange to us, but when Jesus was alive, people would have understood what he meant. When a grain of wheat dies, it's put in the ground. It splits and the shoots grow up towards the sun and the roots grow down towards the earth. So from one little seed, we get a whole ear of wheat, which produces so much more and lots more seeds to produce more and more wheat. So just as the grain of wheat died, Jesus knew that he was going to die and that his rising would bring us new life and, most importantly, eternal life. We share in this glory of God and this new life, but we can't keep it to ourselves. We have to share it with others. We can do this by following Jesus, choosing to do the right things, and serving God, all things we've mentioned the past few weeks and heard in our Gospels. And most importantly, we can share the love of God with others. We're going to do this this week by making a card to send to someone. So, for our activity today, you'll need a piece of card or paper and some pens. So, you can make your card whichever way you want to. I'm going to fold mine in half this way to make. And on the front, you can see I drew a flower and some butterflies because they are signs of new life. So we're going to think of signs of new life to put on the front. So you could use a flower and butterflies, 
or you might want to do a cross too. So I'm going to start with a little flower up in this corner and then another flower down here. My flowers aren't very good but yours will be much better. Let me draw the stems and some leaves. signs of new life you could draw on the front of your card. You want to draw the cross as Jesus brings us new life. Flower is always a good one. And also nice and cheery. quickly. Yours will be much neater I'm sure and I look forward to seeing your pictures you send in. You might want to add some stickers or more colours to yours. And then on the inside, I'm going to write a little message. And I'm going to say, I am praying for you. Love. And then I'm going to think of someone, it might be a neighbour, might be a friend or a family member I haven't seen for a little while, and I'm going to pop it in the post to them. So you can decide who you're going to send your card to, to show them that you're thinking of them, and to share that love and that prayer with them. You can have a think who you're going to send your card to this week, and you can either put it in the post or safely through someone's letterbox. Or you might be giving it to someone in your house. But don't forget to send us your pictures. You can send them to the Shrewsbury Youth email or you can tag us in pictures on Facebook, Instagram or Twitter. Let's end with a prayer. Loving Father, make our lives pleasing to you. As your children, may we share in your glory as we produce a rich harvest for your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord, Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. It's been great to be with you again this week, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care. Bye.